what's up guys, Chris here, back in another video. So, today's video I want to talk a little bit about the GH5 Mark II, and my theory about it. Um, I have a little bit of a theory about this camera, and why we're getting it, and not the GH6. Because typically Panasonic isn't a Mark II type camera, they just come out with another number, right? So, I have a theory. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. And, I, and, and at this point, you know, the, the camera is supposed to be available June 30th, and I can't find it anywhere available yet. And I haven't seen any, like, any boxings or anything like that, so I, I don't really know what the situation is going on with this camera. If it's actually coming out. You know, this chip shortage is affecting everybody. Uh, one camera that I'm interested in uh, is a new Sony ZV-E10. Um, and, you know, they, post, they were supposed to announce it yesterday. They were going to postpone um, the announcement because of... Uh, the chip shortage is what I'm kind of assuming. You know, you, they can't get these chips uh, to make these cameras to make. Well, nobody can get any chips to make any can, any kind of electronics. Vehicles are you know on storage. You know, you can't buy a brand new car right now because of that. It's just a weird situation. So my theory is is that Panasonic was fully intentions to put out a GH6. They saw how the market was reacting right now and that no cameras are being announced. Uh, they're being announced, but they're developmental announcements. Like, we haven't had a new camera, like, come out where you could actually buy it. I don't think in 2021. Uh, the A1 came out. That's about it. But I here's the problem thing with the A1. I do think the A1 was being built last year because... Last year during football season, they kept claiming that it was the A7R4, but the image quality was just way more than I'd ever seen anybody do with an A7R4. And I knew something was kind of up with that. Like, it didn't seem right. I think that what was happening was that was the A1. And we know now that it was the A1. You know, with the 8K video and stuff like that. And they were on the field and stuff like that. And they went to Super Bowl. And I think WWF Wrestling is doing it now. They had, you know, in the entrance, they were walking down. I'm pretty sure they were using A1s as well. Um, boxing, I think MMA has been doing it now, UFC. But the image just looks so much different, right? It almost looks like a video game when they're walking down. I think the A1 was probably built last year on with old chips. and I also believe it's kind of hard to get that camera now, too. Um, it's kind of hard to get A7S III. It's kind of hard to get a uh, FX3, which I also believe came out this year. Um so I think this chip shortage is, is kind of a big deal. So why is the GH5 Mark II coming out? My theory is that the GH5 Mark II is really just a GH5 with the little Mark II logo underneath of it. Underneath it, uh, you know, a few parts been things that, that 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 came up, but I think that for the most part these are just kind of firmware updates. You know, put a new LCD panel in the back, so it's a little bit different. Um, I think they took a bunch of GH5, GH5s, put painted the little Mark II version on it, the thing on it in red, put a new red record button on the top of it, and called it GH5 Mark II because they knew they weren't going to be able to come out with the GH6 this year. And to be honest with you, coming out with something is going to be a big deal because people want new cameras all the time, right? If nobody else can even put one out because there's just no way for them to do it, <laughs> because these chip shortages, you know, they probably already had these G5, GH5s already built, right? They had these GH5s already built. You know, then they didn't even change, like, the grip. Uh, Panasonic, after when the G9 came out, they put this new kind of rubber on the grip, right? My, I'm shooting on the Panasonic S5 right now. So they put this new kind of rubber, and every camera they've had since has had that new kind of rubber on it. The GH5 Mark II comes out and it still has the old style GH5 Mark I rubber on it, so it's it's a little a leather, almost leatherish type thing. So I believe that what we're getting here is a basically a GH5 with a firmware update and a new LCD panel. Um, I believe it's still got the same processor, and so that you didn't need it, they already had them. They are they didn't need new new chips because they already had the chips from the GH5, so it's basically the exact same camera. It makes a lot of sense to me. It makes a lot of sense to me, personally, that yeah, that's why we're getting this camera. Yeah. I think that's my theory on it. I think that's, you know, look at the ZV-E10. 
It's not coming out right now. Why? Because they don't they don't have the chips. Um, the GH6. Why didn't it come out? Because hmm? they don't have the chips. They keep pushing back the Canon R3 announcement. You know we're getting real close to the Olympics right now. Now obviously they probably have some already built because they're probably giving it to professional photographers and stuff like that for the Olympics to be able to use and videographers and whatnot to be able to use at the Olympics. So I'm sure there are some that are available right now. But it doesn't surprise me that. I mean, for their press release, press and stuff like that, have them. I, I, it does not surprise me that consumers can't pick up these cameras yet. With this chip shortage, you know, I think this is kind of a bigger deal than anything right now. And I think it's going to be, who knows? I, I did hear the other day that Ford, um, they had an issue with their F-150s, for instance, and probably other, many other cars. I just, I knew F-150 was publicized and stuff, so... I'm thinking that the Ford F-150, you know, they, they have secured all the chips for those, all the chip F-150s that are sitting in a parking lot somewhere, I think Michigan, waiting to be sold. <clears throat> but they haven't been able to, to um, sell all the get, get chips for cameras and stuff like that. So this thing has kind of become, kind of becoming a big deal, uh, maybe a bigger deal than it needed to be. Um, I do wonder because, you know, we're about to get into new phone season come September, October, it's gonna be that's a kind of a big phone season, you know. Like Apple comes out with their new iPhones usually in September. You know, uh, the Samsung Note series comes out in usually October or something like that. September, September, October time frame, August. So those are gonna be some big phones. I know like the Sony just not got you can just now buy, but I think they're already out of stock. So there, there's probably only a few of them that were even made. That new uh, the, their new Mark III version, a, a Sony One Mark III, whatever the hell it is. So it's uh, kind of a crazy time, folks. It's kind of a crazy time. You know, we don't know really what's going to be happening with these. If we're going to be getting any new cameras this year, or if it's just going to be developmental announcements and we're all just going to be sitting around waiting until, you know, they can get chips out. And then when they do finally, they're probably going to slow roll, you know, where you're going to have your pre-order in for months on end, you know. So kind of an odd time right now uh, in the camera industry. Um it's it's <laughs> the times we're living in folks anyways that's about it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this thank you all for watching later